Hi, I'm Dr. Rajiv Agarwal, gynecologist, laparoscopic surgeon and fertility specialist, director, Renew Healthcare, Kolkata. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the missing intrauterine device. Thank you so much for appreciating my past videos and for all your suggestions, blessings, love and requests for posting more of my surgical work. IUD or intrauterine device has been existing for time immemorial. Traditionally, we had the copper tea, which was more used for contraception. The name is derived from the fact that it, it is T-shaped and has copper round, wound around its long uh, length. The new improved version of the in, intrauterine device is the hormonal IUD and we're going to be talking about and looking into it in little more details in a short while. The picture in the right shows you how the intrauterine device is positioned inside the uterus. Now why should we be using the intrauterine device? Traditionally as I said the copper tea was used for contraception, it's not used for anything else. However the hormonal IUDs can be used for reducing a lot many distressing symptoms in women. For example women who bleed very very heavy can use these hormonal IUDs inside the uterus. Women who have extremely painful periods can reduce the pain during periods by the use of these hormonal IUDs. The management of endometriosis um, hangs very very strongly around the use of these hormonal IUDs. Adenomyosis is destruction of the wall of the uterus indirectly via endometriosis and this again can be managed very well by these hormonal IUDs. And of course, women who are coming with menstrual problems, whether it is perimenopausal, whether it is um, because of endometriosis, adenomyosis, or in cases where the cause is not known. So dysfunctional uterine bleeding because of unknown reasons. And these women probably are destined to undergo a removal of the uterus because they find their symptoms very distressing. Such women can actually avoid removal of the uterus by use of these intrauterine devices. Now you see this is how the IUD is typically placed inside the uterus. It has two wings. The moment we place the IUD inside the uterus, these wings open up and they kind of hitch to the sides, attaching the uh, IUD in place so that the IUD does not slip down uh, when the uterus contracts. The body of the uterus contains either the drug in a hormonal IUD or is wound over by copper in case of a copper tea. At the bottom you can see two strings hanging down. Now these two strings come out of the internal opening of the, the cervix or the uh, passage connecting the vagina to the uterus. The strings will come out through the internal opening and then through the external opening of the mouth of the womb and these two strings will hang in the vagina. What is the need for this string to hang in the vagina? One, the woman can actually put her finger inside and check that the string is still there in the vagina, telling her that the copper tea or the intrauterine device is in place. Again, placement of these IUDs can be a little tricky, but removal of the IUDs is very, very simple. All your gynecologist is going to do is going to put an instrument in the vagina open it up so that he can actually see the string at the mouth of the womb, hold the string and just give it a gentle yank and the intrauterine device will come out in a few seconds. Here are three uh, ultrasound pictures A, B and C. In A, you will be able to see the intrauterine device placed very nicely in the right position at the top part of the uterus the long stem going right through the body of the uterus and the string coming out of the mouth of the womb and hanging in the vagina. In the picture B, you can see that the top part of the uterus is actually empty. The IUD is not placed there. The IUD is much lower down. It's also crooked, telling us that the IUD is malpositioned and that it probably requires a removal. In the third picture, you will see that the intrauterine device is in place. The stem is also in the right place. But the thread of the intrauterine device has coiled up. 
Thus, if the woman wants to feel the thread in the vagina, she will probably not be able to. And the gynecologist, if he tries to remove the IUD, will probably not find the thread hanging out in the vagina. So who are the women who are at higher risk of displacement or expulsion of the intrauterine device? Younger women who've probably not had children yet, women who have heavier menstrual bleeding, or women who have painful periods because in both these conditions, the uterus tries to contract vigorously in trying to stop the bleeding, or some women have more contraction of the uterus during their periods. And in both these situations, the uterus will try and throw out everything that is there inside, including the intrauterine device. Intrauterine device should not be placed in a woman who has a distorted uterine cavity. So the inside of the uterus, the cavity of it needs to be absolutely fine, triangular shaped and should not be kind of abnormal. If that happens, then the intrauterine device is not going to work. How do you find out if the intrauterine device is displaced? So as I said earlier, the woman would be able to not feel the strings if the IUD is displaced. The strings are shorter or longer than usual. Then again you feel that the IUD is probably displaced. It would be shorter if the IUD has gone up or the thread is coiled. It would be longer if the IUD has actually come down and is almost in the process of expulsion. One can feel the IUD itself so it's come down so much that you can actually feel the IUD uh, coming out of the mouth of the womb. Or maybe your partner during intercourse might be able to feel the IUD with his finger. You probably could feel pain because the IUD is displaced. Or you could have heavy or abnormal bleeding. Or you may have severe cramping, abnormal discharge or fever. If you go to your gynecologist, and your gynecologist does an ultrasound, a vaginal ultrasound, the displaced IUD would also be discovered on a routine ultrasound scan. How to remove a displaced IUD? So as I said, if the thread is seen at the mouth of the womb, that the IUD has come down, it's displaced from its normal position, but the thread is still in place. All your gynecologist needs to do is just hold the thread and give it a general yank um, and the IUD would come out. The problem is that if the thread is not seen, then the organicologist would need to put a hysteroscope, that is a telescope, through the vagina, through the mouth of the womb, to look at the inside of the womb. The IUD would then need to be located and with a short procedure, the intrauterine device can be taken out. Now, when we move on to the video, I will show you uh, the case of a woman who came to me with an intrauterine device wherein she had had it placed by another gynecologist many, many years ago. She actually forgot about it because the IUDs normally work for 5 or 10 years, after which they need to be replaced. She clean forgot about the fact that she had an IUD in place, never went to a gynecologist and when she did go back to her gynac, he couldn't see the thread there. And then at this point, this woman came to me, we did an ultrasound, confirmed that the IUD has gone far up and that uh, the thread cannot be seen in the vagina and I would require to do a hysteroscopy to go inside, locate the thread or locate the IUD and bring it right back. So I'm using a hysteroscope now to move from the vagina through the mouth of the womb to the inside of the womb. As you can see, because the IUD has been there for such a long time, longer than its expiry, everything seems to be frozen inside. On the top, that black thing is probably the IUD. I'm going to use force water and solutions inside the uterus to try and open up the womb from inside. And there, you know, it's much, much better now. The IUD can be seen. This is the long arm of the IUD. This is the bottom end. This on here is one arm of the wings of the IUD. So we're tracing the long arm back. At the end, we're supposed to be seeing two threads 
hanging out as I said but here the threads are not seen so I will not be able to hold the thread and bring the IUD down I will have to hold its very base which is a difficult thing to do luckily I have the right instrument for it so we're going to try and hold the base and gently lower it down I love this instrument this is a claw like structure very very small you what you're seeing here is a hugely magnified view of this instrument we're slowly trying to pull it down but it's it is a heavy big structure inside and the claw manages to lose it but we don't lose faith we don't lose hope and we go right back and clutch the base once again again the IUD is slowly but steadily coming down through the passage of the mouth of the womb and this time I seem to be getting there and yes the IUD is now finally out this is how the IUD looks it's a very small tiny structure actually the two wings as I've explained to you before the long arm the threads should have been there at the bottom but um, for whatever reason the threads are missing probably in the previous attempt to remove it the thread might have just broken off from the base and which is why the previous gynecologist found it impossible to remove the IUD we'll of course go back inside the uterus as you can see right now and just see how the cavity is looking the cavity is looking very very nice I have taken some scrapings from inside of the womb which is why the cavity has a bit of blood here and there it's looking a little raw because I want to send the lining of the womb for a general testing as well just to understand but otherwise the cavity looks beautiful and brilliant thank you so much for watching my video Please do like the video, share the video with your colleagues, subscribe to my channel and continue giving me love the way you have been. Thank you so much.